Praise the Lord. Welcome to About Gospel Channel. My name is Peter J. Today again here is the new topic about how countries got the gospel. After the Roman period, Christianity was brought back to the southern low countries by missionary saints like Willibrord and Amandus. In the 7th century, abbeys were founded in remote places, and it was mainly from these abbeys that the Christianization process was started. This process was expanded under the auspices of the Merovingian dynasty, and later by Charlemagne, who even waged war to impose the new religion. From the Spanish military conquest of 1592 until the re-establishment of religious freedom in 1781 by the patent of toleration under Joseph II of Austria, Catholicism was the only religion allowed, on penalty of death, in the territories now forming Belgium. However, a small number of Protestant groups managed to survive at Maria Horbeek, Dower, Ternay, Yupin, and Hadamont. Religion was one of the differences between the almost solidly Catholic South and the predominantly Protestant North of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands, formed in 1815. The Union broke up in 1830 when the South seceded to form the Kingdom of Belgium. In Belgium's first century, Catholicism was such a binding factor socially that it prevailed over the language divide, Dutch versus French. The decline in religion's importance as a social marker across late, 20th, century Western Europe explains to a large extent the current centrifugal forces in Belgium, with language differences, increasingly reinforced by a positive feedback effect in the media, no longer being kept in check by a religious binding factor. If anything, the Catholic Church has acquiesced to these changes by having a Dutch-speaking university, Catholic Universiteit Leuven, and a French-speaking university, University Catholique de Louvain. 